Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, a little while ago I put up a video of some photos, really it was more of a slideshow, of the Mini Chopper build. It was something I started about a year ago with uh, my stepson, and we've been working really hard on this thing, and now I've actually got a chance to do a little walkthrough video, show you guys what we've done, how we've done it, and where we're at at this point. There's going to be a couple more videos coming up of us finishing it, getting the paint done, the last little final, final touches of it, and everything that we need to do to get this thing is a fun little mini chopper, pit bike, kind of buzz around town kind of little thing. So I'm going to walk you through real quick on everything we've done up to this point, show you guys what you can do, maybe it'll help you on something you guys are building, um, and give you kind of an overview of the mini chopper that has turned out, in my opinion, pretty freaking sweet up until this point so well without further ado this is her so this is the mini chopper there's a lot of blood sweat and tears in this build so far up until this point um, we'll start right from the beginning the frame is all inch and a quarter square tubing um, I had a bunch extra from a go-kart build that you can actually see in the intro pictures on all of my videos and I decided to do something different and go with square tubing for the motorcycle frame not something you see all the time so I thought it'd be kind of a neat little touch so everything was kind of designed on the fly I really just held things up saw what I thought was gonna work what kind of looked neat and I went with that for my sizes there was no real measuring involved um, the only part of the frame that's actually round are these part back here behind the seat and that's all just uh, regular I think one inch tubing uh, 16th wall or 8th wall the square tubing's 8th wall um, and yeah that that was the gist of the frame it was just see what worked tack it up if it didn't look right I cut it off I did something different oh I forgot there is round here for the support underneath the seat also um, but other than that that's pretty much all square tubing um, the handlebars we'll go to next these are actually from an old BMX bicycle I cut them turned them in a little bit so they gave a more motorcycle look kind of a little ape short ape hanger look and we welded them back together very simple the risers are just a couple piece of pipe and that's all for the handlebars it's all just kind of put it where I thought it was going to look nice tacked her up and once we got it to where it felt right, looked right, Brad was able to reach everything, that's where we welded them in. The triple trees and front end, there's no suspension at all on this entire thing. So it is a little bit of a hard ride, but again, it's just a mini bike. Um, these plates here were lasered out back at my old job. We had lasers and I had the guy laser them out for me. It worked out nice. So they were actually done to dimensions for a mini bike that I had found online. The inner side here of the trees are just tubing. And down here, this is actually electrical conduit, galvanized electrical conduit. I had a drop piece for some odd reason and it worked perfectly. So we went with that. Um, bringing it down to the end where the wheel is, these are, I just looked at a bicycle and seeing how the tabs were made on a bicycle. Kind of measured them real quick and made my own right here. You know, just out of some uh, 3 16 plate, cut them out, trimmed them, sanded them so they looked nice and welded them in place. It worked out perfect. Um, for the wheel, it was just a bicycle wheel. I believe this is a 20 inch. Uh, I got it from the local bike shop. They had used rims and uh, I picked one up fairly cheap. I think it was 10 bucks for the used rim and a couple bucks for a brand new tire and tube. Uh, that's the whole front end. Um, grips and controls here are from Amazon. I want to say they're like ten bucks. What they were? They were very cheap. Um, can't go wrong. You know they work nice. No real big deal with them. Uh, moving on back, the rear wheel is something we are going to change. Uh, this wheel is from Harbor Freight. It's just one of their wheels with an internal bearing system. Uh, I took a piece of pipe, welded it to the sprocket, and welded the sprocket actually to the wheel. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
and it works but the bearings are already starting to loosen up after only a couple rides inside the wheel and I know it's just going to give us problems down the road so I'm going to switch it out to an actual go-kart tire and if we have to cut and change the frame back here it'll be fine because as you see it's just primed right now just to keep it from rusting um, moving from that the seat is just plywood with a piece of EVA foam that is the same stuff I use for the armor and then on top of that is the cushier foam the same stuff I used in the um, nerf gun case video um, it's just a regular like packing black foam you know one inch foam and it's actually really soft which helps because like I said there's no suspension and there's just screws going through the back into the wood so that way you know we could take them on and off if we had to cut anything redo anything uh, we had to add because this is such a long stretch here we had to actually add a little tensioner idler wheel in the middle um, it's got a little bit of adjustment to put some tension on the chain because as we rode a little bit the chain started to stretch out and it just wasn't enough to remove a link of course but it was enough just to give us problems and pop the chain so I added that little thing and it's just a little Teflon wheel in the middle um, to roll on so that'll wear nicely um, the other major component you can see here is this gas tank this isn't a store-bought gas tank or anything like that um, we made this at work actually uh, watched a video on YouTube about how to hydroform at your house with a pressure washer a guy uh, Colin Furs I believe this guy's name on YouTube great great builder great maker um, check out his videos but anyway uh, we wanted to see if it was work it would work before we anybody ripped up their uh, pressure washer at home so we tried it at work with some actual hydro pumps we use for pressure testing things and all that is is two pieces of sheet metal cut in the shape of a kidney bean and then we added the uh, coupling and pumped water into it up to I think it was 100 psi something like that it ballooned out and then once we got that generic shape I cut the seam because it was just two right close together I cut the seam out and we added in a three inch strip down the middle same thing added a coupling filled it with water pressurized it to a couple hundred psi and blew it out the rest of the way to give it this more domed top because all it was was you know real sharp sides before but really that's just 18 gauge steel blown up like a water balloon in the shape of a uh, gas tank um, there's a couple guys to show you how to do it on youtube i'm going to do one shortly on how to do it and how we made it i'm going to do the exact same form exact same stuff so you can see exactly how i made the gas tank but as you can see it turned out really neat i did need to bondo it a bunch to get it smooth because of the weld seams and stuff it actually pushed the weld seam out so it was more of a bubble and i didn't want to grind too much off and cause it to crack i did not make it a sealed gas tank you can see here it's just sitting on the tunnel or it's just got a tunnel and it's just sitting on the frame at some point i will you know seal it and make it an actual functional tank but for now the motor came with a tank and it works out fine um moving to the motor it's just your standard 212 Predator motor from Harbor Freight. Uh, I didn't do anything crazy to it other than a custom exhaust just to give it more of an exhaust pipe or like a motorcycle. Um, I had some chrome tubing from uh, clothes rack that was broken so I saved it and we just wait for cut at the end and I added some little set screws that obviously have to be trimmed down because that looks a little goofy but just to hold it on there and the rest is just black tubing that I had laying around and we welded it all together, you know, pieced it together, what was gonna work, you know, until we had it down to the end. Luckily, this tubing already had 90 degree bends in it, so I was able just to utilize those. The coolest thing I think I've added so far is the heat shield, which I gave this nice brushed finish with some sandpaper. This is actually some perforated aluminum that I had here in the shop from that same go-kart build. You can see the pictures in the intro video, like I said. Um, I had a couple drops left over from that, and I just beat the living crap out of it around a piece of pipe until it got that nice half circle shape. I trimmed the corners to give it a nice little look and sanded it really nice with uh, sandpaper back and forth until it gave that nice little brushed aluminum look and it keeps you know our legs from 
smacking into that nice hot um, exhaust pipe that we put there. For the flange on the exhaust, going back to that, I just paper template off the old one, cut a piece out of 316 stainless, or was it stainless? I think it is just steel. Steel, and then I actually welded that at work because I TIG welded that, that part on, um, which I just wanted to make sure I had a nice seal there. Um, the torque converter is off of eBay. It's a Comet pretty much knockoff. It's the uh, the hundred dollar version because the Comet one was two hundred bucks. And not knowing how this was going to turn out, I didn't want to spring two hundred bucks on a torque converter. But it's pretty much the same thing. You do have to modify the back to get the chain to come through, so you do have to modify the guard on it. But it works great, and you have that nice torque right away. And with it, I'm not running a chain all the way to here. You know, I'm running at least from back here or else this chain would have been, you know, six and a half feet long, which would have been ridiculous. But that's an overview of the mini chopper. It's been a long process. Uh, like I said, we started this a year ago and a lot of it was just playing with it, seeing what was gonna work right, you know, how we really wanted to do things. I originally had it set up with a different, smaller, older motor, and that's why this motor kind of looks a little big for the, uh, the mini chopper. But I think it kind of all came together in the end over this last couple months, and we were really able to tie it all together, and now it runs, and we can ride it around a little bit. It needs finishing touches. It has no brakes at the moment, so I really don't let Brad ride it. I let him put around the backyard once on it so far. So... The next couple videos you'll probably see are brakes, a couple little fine adjustments with the chain and rear wheel assembly, and then from that it'll be painting it and really getting it finished so it looks like a full out, full fledged chopper. I'm going to redo the seat because as you can see my terrible vinyl work here. Um, this vinyl, I didn't mention either, is just marine vinyl from uh, Joanne Fabrics. We found a remnant there of it. It's even if you buy it fresh, it's it's not very expensive. I think it's like 15 bucks a yard, which is more than enough to do a couple little tiny seats. But it stretches real nice and it's waterproof because it's marine bio. So if we, you know, it's outside, it starts raining, something like that, it's not going to get ruined. Um, and it kind of looks like black leather. Uh, they even have it in like snake and alligator print if you want to go crazy and make a badass seat like that. Um, and of course, that's what Bradley wanted but we didn't get it um let's see that's the seat the motor I'm gonna throw a clip in at the end of us putting around in the driveway on this so you can kind of get a feel of how it sounds and how it runs and what it looks like rolling um I didn't put pegs on it yet so my feet are hanging off in the video so I do look like a goofball riding it but you guys can get an idea of how it looks how it sounds and how cool it really is um if you got any questions, you're making your own mini chopper, mini bike, anything like that, feel free, throw it in the comments. I'll answer them. Uh, like I said, there, there's a big learning experience for me on this, you know. So, and if there's any way I can help any of you guys out, I'd be glad to do it. So, that's where the mini chopper is right now. You'll see some videos shortly on uh, what we're going to do and some things coming up. Uh, don't forget to check out the channel check out some of my other videos don't forget please like and subscribe to these videos you know, subscribe to the channel we put out as many videos as we can every week so there's going to be plenty more to come we're a fairly new channel so enjoy keep making guys and we'll see you next time